Hi, and welcome back to Quinwapa Creations Tutorial Videos. In today's video, I'm going to show how I make my brick stitch diamond earrings with the tri feather design. The beadwork is done first, and I use the pattern. I will have a link to that pattern in the description. I use size 11 Delica beads with some soft leather as the backing and a soda pop can cut out and flattened so that I could use that for the inside. Size D, 9 mil beading thread, size 11 beading needles, and uh, shape it into a cone by inserting that soda can inside. So when I do the earring, I start from the bottom of the earring and work my way up and then uh, make that into a diamond shape. So to begin, I'm going to start with just three beads. Uh, I leave a, about a six, five, six inch tail on the end. And mostly that's just to, so I have something to hold on to. So I go back through those three beads and make a circle with those three beads. And then I'm going to go through one of those beads. And then um, skip the middle one. And then go back up through the other, the bead on the other side. And that's going to create a triangle. That's going to start my diamond. In a brick stitch, you're going to be using the middle um, thread that holds those two beads together to start. So I call it a bridge. So I'm going to add two beads and go through that thread that's between there, that bridge. And these two beads are going to create the increase on the right side. And I go back up through the middle bead, the bead that's toward the middle of this two. And then I will need an increase on the left side. So I will add the bead to go on the increase. I put a bead on and go up through the bead that's in the middle. There is no bridge to go through, so I'm just going up through the bead. And then pull that tight. And that creates my increase on both sides. So now I have three beads on there. And now I'll need to create the next row that will be the tip of the feather design. I'll need one black bead and one blue bead. The black bead is put on first so that it will be in the middle and the blue bead will be the on the outside will be the increase bead. So I go through the blue bead and that's the outside increase and that pushes the black bead into the center. And that's the beginning of the feather tip design. And then there's one more bridge left there because of the three beads. So I go through that bridge, uh, put on a black bead and go through that bridge, go back up through that black bead. And that puts two beads in the center for the beginning of that feather tip. And put on a bead, a blue bead, that makes the increase on the on the other side. So I just go back up through that middle bead, black bead, to attach the blue bead to the outside to make the increase. And that's the 
beginning of that feather tip design. Now we need to keep increasing on both sides and as we continue that feather design. So the next row will have a black bead and a blue bead. We'll always have a blue bead on the outside. And turn it around. I'm going to go through the blue bead so that the blue bead will be off the increased bead on the outside. And the black, and that pushes the black bead in to the middle to continue that feather tip design. And continue my brick stitch across. And that's going to give me three black beads. Add to that feather tip in the design. And then put on a bead and just go through that black bead to do the increase on the other side. So we're increasing on both sides. and that creates the diamond. So we're gonna have those blue beads on both sides and then two beads in between those feathers. So a black bead and a blue bead creates that blue bead increase on the outside. Pull that tight and that's uh, um, continue with the black bead and go through the bridge, go back up through the that black bead and continue my brick stitch all the way to the other side. through that black bead. And then to create the increase on the next side, just add a blue bead and go back up through that black bead. Oh, add the space between the feathers. And a blue bead there. Add the increase to the other side. So we have the tip, feather tip earring started. And then we start adding the color, increasing on both sides to make it a diamond. And the diamond shape has three feathers in the pattern. And 
once you're finished with the beadwork, you're going to add six beads to the top and use the top two beads as the anchor for the loop to put your earring wire through. I'm going to go back through that loop to reinforce it and then weave my beads back through. Once the beadwork is done, I cut a soda pop can and uh, which we're going to cut a piece to stick to the back of this beadwork. So, kind of flatten that out. And I use a Sharpie marker. Put my beadwork on there. Kind of get a rough outline of this beadwork. And then once I get that rough outline and I'm going to cut the soda pop can to fit the back of the earring and that's what and then we're going to keep the beadwork opposite our feathers are facing opposite directions so just trim that soda pop can the aluminum down to fit so that there's just a little bit hanging over because we will sew the backing onto the beads so you need a little room so just trim that off and then we'll need a, the leather leather backing so just cut a diamond shape to fit the beads to fit the earring shape and uh, then we'll I use some earring Elmer's glue put the, put it on the back of the beads and the, on the soda pop can and then a little bit more to um, add my backing to the back of the earring and trim all that down so it'll fit the beads make it the same shape same size and once I have that all trimmed off I'm gonna take my needle and thread and I'm gonna just whip stitch that backing to the beads and go in to the back side of the backing in between the earring and the backing not so my knot will be back there and then I go through the beads so that I'll be on the other side of the on the bead side and come back through when I come back through I'm going to be going through the leather and now I'll just whip stitch um, going through the next in between the next two beads there and then just continue that whip stitch all the way around the edge and then when I get to the end of the diamond then I just take that and tie a knot and secure it and get my needle to go back through the backing so that my knot will be in between the backing and the beads and I'll tie a knot and use my thread burner burn that when you heat up that knot it'll kind of melt it together and there is my brick stitch diamond earring. I take my flat 
nose pliers and I'm just going to bend be real careful not to break the beads but kind of gently turn that earring in and that holds its shape with that aluminum can inside there and be sure your feathers are facing in the opposite direction and then I'm just going to take a earring wire open that up and attach it to my diamond and there is my pair of brick stitch diamond earrings with my tri feather pattern design shaped in a cone so yeah I'm just kind of gently shape that and that was that's it that's my pair of diamond shaped brick stitch feather earrings and they are in the cone shape well thanks for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you're able to make your own pair um, be sure you can always come and stop by and join my beading group um, creation corner beading circle where i have live zoom sessions every sunday on different designs and different patterns and i also have a website www.quinwellpawcreations.com you can stop by and check out my blog and the items that i have available there and i also have a etsy shop that i have patterns and kits that we use in our live zoom sessions i try to keep the uh, items available to my group members for when we do our different projects on sunday afternoons so thanks for stopping by i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time thank you